Ladies and gentlemen, what is up and what's going down? It's a Disney one here bringing you another game of NBA 2K17 Legends, my league, and we're going up against the Orlando Magic in game three of the quarterfinals of the NBA playoffs here in 2017. In real life, the playoffs have already passed, but we're bringing the fun to you guys. LeBron James, Stephen Curry, and Shaquille O'Neal trying to get their first win in the series. It's not working out too well. First game was a blowout. Second game was a lot closer. But now let's see what this crew can do. Hashtag bars. Let's get it started. Let's get it popping. Right off the bat, David Zerbo dunking it on top of Shaquille O'Neal. Blowing by LeBron James. Move over. There's a new king in town. There's a... Ooh, LeBron diving on the floor. Trying to get the ball, but it goes to Scottie Pippen. Zerbo wide open. Pulling up from the free throw line. Knocking it down. It's an easy basket after easy basket. Orlando has caught up, score is 4-4, to four, and Zerbo with a step back, fading away over LeBron James. LeBron cannot stop the man. It's too easy. Too, too easy. Having too much fun here right now. Andrea Bargani, probably their best player as of late in this whole entire series. And ooh, you can sense the animosity that's going on between the players. Stephen Curry getting fouled hard by the MVP of the league, Zerbo. It's just crazy right now. Everything's going on. They don't want to go down 3-0 because they know. Hashtag bars. How many rhymes can we do in one episode, in one quarter, in just half of the time that's elapsed, that's available? How many rhymes can possibly occur? Shot does not fall down for CJ McCollum, but you can sense that they don't want to go down 3-0 because they know there we go again, same rhyme, same exact way I said it, but they don't want to do it because it's pretty much impossible to win a series after you've gone down 3-0 and no one's ever done it before. That's what's crazy. They know what's going on. They got to pull off a victory in this game to have a chance. And I know it's still a video game, but I, I want to keep the immersion real, you know? I want to add a little bit of story to it. And one thing I do want to explain, one thing I haven't really explained to anybody uh why i decided to do a series where i'm basically not playing in the game it's because this is what i do normally to get some i don't know uh my i forgot what they're called uh vc i think it's called vc virtual currency uh, i do this to get vc for my player my career and i don't show you guys my career because i don't think it's as entertaining for me personally just showing you guys what i do the whole entire time i'd rather have it be the team and what the team can do because basketball is a team game sure you might have a guy like lebron james but if your team can't work together and you got stephen curry and you got shaquille o'neal and you got everybody else if your team can't work together you're not gonna win games that's what's happening right now with the orlando magic they just can't win games as stephen curry trying to keep his team in the game knocking down three after three after three it's just beautiful but as i was saying I, I like it better uh, when I play my career, uh, not my career, my league, because it shows what your team can do. And normally I do play as a as the player controlling everybody, but I wanted to try a series where I basically acted as a general manager. And as a general manager, you don't really get a say in how your team performs. I mean, you get to choose the players and which players you want on the team, but it all depends on how they work together, how the coach decides how they're gonna be used. You're, you're not really in charge of that aspect of the game. You might be able to get the player you want, but how well will it work together? How well can the team just be as good as it can be? Or will it fall apart or whatever? I don't know what I'm trying to say. Basically, I want my hands off of it and I wanna try to win a championship by just watching and forming a team that works perfectly together and i think i've done that so far the team is working extremely well we were able to get deandre jordan and trade him for yao ming that's crazy we got players like darren williams we got guys like scotty pippen and tracy mcgrady in the draft it's it's absolutely crazy what we're able to what we were able to do and i've never won a championship with a team that i've built without ever playing in the championship game that's something i've never done and i like doing things in 2k that i've never done that's why i'm doing this series i i had this series before 
where I simulated the whole entire season without being able to trade and then go from there and win a championship. That's that's here on YouTube. It's called the Drafting Champion Series. Go check it out. It's pretty entertaining, pretty fun. And basically, I was able to win a championship with a team that I, I personally drafted and personally was not allowed to add free agents or you know like trade players to make the team better and see what we need that's something that uh i've never done before and i was able to accomplish that now i want to do this type of series and it's working out extremely well we're actually one of the we're, we're the best team in the in the east not in the league in the east so we're having a great series and i'm loving it and so far not even lebron james stephen curry and shaquille o'neal can stop us now there's a lot of other great teams in the playoffs I believe in the next round, we might be facing Michael Jordan, Giannis Antetokounmpo, and a creative player named Joshua Manchild. If they can get one more win, we're going to be facing that squad in the next round. And I think that squad is going to be a little bit more entertaining than this right here. But what I'm saying right now is it doesn't matter how many star players you have on your squad if they don't know how to work together. And that's what's happening right now with Orlando Magic. They're not working together as a cohesive unit. As you can see, they're giving the ball to their star players and they're making shots, but I mean, they're depending way too much on Bargiani. Every time I say his name, I got to say it in an accent. I don't know why. And CJ McCollum. Like, they're not getting stops on defense, mainly because they got two guys who aren't able to defend in McCollum and Bargiani. <laughs> They just can't defend. It's simple as that. And then you got Shaquille O'Neal who's super slow on defense. And if your power forward can't defend and your center can't run back on defense, we're going to have easy basket after easy basket over and over again. And that's why I think Orlando is in this hole. LeBron James is not able to step up. He's deferring too much, taking a shot right there and making it as soon as I badmouth him. But he's not doing as much as he should be doing. Sure, he's getting assists, but they need LeBron to score and he's not doing that there's Stephen Curry going for a three-pointer right there and knocking it down in our faces 46 to 38 this game is not close at all and Tracy McGrady just increasing the distance knocking down another shot for your Miami Heat keeping the series far away oh Stephen Curry knocking down another three-pointer what is he doing man I don't I like Stephen Curry. I don't like him on the Warriors. Let's get that straight. I just, I don't know. Warrior, fan, Warrior fans ruin the Warriors for me. It's just, ah, know your team before you talk about it. Um, to those listening right now, right now, um, um, just, uh, just know that no offense to any of you at all but um yeah i'm gonna stop talking about that because I'm, it sounds like i'm a salty person every time i say it but whatevs i don't care goaltending there we go shaquille o'neal gets a goaltending i'm trying to talk right now trying to talk and do stuff but whatever um ha huh. three seconds left in the game it is game over we take a three to zero series lead against our in-state rivals the orlando magic and uh it's been nice knowing you guys we got one more game let's not get too cocky but I like our chances. I like our chances. Hopefully, we can get a victory. Hopefully, we can get it done. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Hashtag we are Jordan. Player of the game is none other than David Zerbo. All stats are doubled. So what you see here is what we're going to get right here. And there you see it. Stephen Curry, 42 points and two steals, zero assists and zero rebounds. He is not making his team better, just himself. But, Zerbo with 40. Thank you guys once again for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next episode. We got at least one more versus LeBron, Steph, and Shaq. Adios. Oh my goodness, I just roasted the Warriors again. I gotta stop. Ugh!